Hi, I'm Brian Jalbert, designer of The Purge. I'm going to walk you through how to install a Purge filtration system. For parts, service, and shipping, please contact MP Team. Here is a table of contents for this video. Be sure to follow your company's safety procedures. Here are some tools we would recommend to have handy for this install. MP Systems provides a full installation kit with every purge. The kit contains everything that you'll need for a generic installation, like hoses, cables, dip tubes, wiring, and electrical components. Inlet plumbing. Start by removing any covers that might be obstructing your view. Find where the coolant and all the chips exit the machine tool, either from the conveyor or through a chip hopper. This is where you want to place your dip tube. If there's a basket, you can place the dip tube inside of the basket. Then mount it using the green clamps provided in the main kit. Next, connect your hose and run it to where you'll be placing your pump. Connect the hose to the inlet of the pump on the front. Be sure to tighten the hose clamps. Then, prime the feed pump by pouring coolant into the top fitting until the casting is full. Then connect your outlet hose from the top of the pump. Then connect it to the inlet manifold on the purge. Then tighten the hose clamps. Return plumbing. The purge uses a gravity-based return. This means that there can't be any bellies in the hose, so you can't go up and over or down and under anything. You need a constant downward slope from the outlet of the purge into the return dip tube. Knowing this, find a location in the clean side of your tank for your return dip tube. Then find a good location for your purge. Then run your hose cutting to length, being sure to use a T-bolt clamp on the purge outlet. Wiring power. In the kit, we provide a breaker kit similar to one that you might get with your high pressure unit. To install it, hook up the wires after your main disconnect into the top of the circuit breaker. Find an open section of DIN rail in the machine to place your breaker. If you can't find one, a small piece of DIN rail and a couple screws are also provided in the kit. Next, find a way to run the power cable into the machine. Shown here are a couple examples of either knockouts or soft seals that you can use. Strip the jacket on the cable and run the red, white, and black wires into your breaker and be sure to ground your cable appropriately. Next, connect the other end of the power cable to the bottom of the electrical cabinet using the twist lock connector. Next, you can connect the motor to the bottom of the electrical cabinet using the yellow cable. This is how MP Systems recommends installing power. If your machine does not allow for this, a separate power drop can be installed by an electrician. This will usually add to the install time and can incur an additional fee. That's the end of the physical install. We recommend doing one last tug test of all wire and hose connections, making sure all clamps are tightened appropriately. You can also refer to your manual for more information on how to adjust your PLC settings for success. Optional purge interface wiring. To install the purge interface, you'll need to be able to put the machine in and out of the ready and not ready states, and also turn the coolant on and off. Having a machine operator help you, cycle the machine between ready and not ready, and locate the contactor that goes in and out. This is usually referred to as the master control relay. This can also be found in the electrical schematic book with the machine. You'll also need to locate the coolant contactor, which can be found by cycling the coolant or finding the coolant pump in the schematics. To install the purge interface, you'll need to find the dry contacts. Once you have found the dry contacts, refer to the schematic attached to the interface cable and attach the wires accordingly. Next, the purge side of the cable can be connected by opening the electrical cabinet and removing the plastic plug in the bottom of the panel. Remove the pink jumper from pins 1 and 10. Run the interface cable into the bottom of the panel and tighten the cord grip. Then connect the wires into their respective pins on the terminal strip, 1 to 1, 2 to 2, and so on. Also found inside of the electrical cabinet are the schematics that the unit was built to that can be used as a reference when connecting the interface cable or troubleshooting the unit. Over the course of many installs, MP Systems has built a collection of brackets and adapters to aid in the ease of install and improve collection of debris. Contact MP Systems for more information. For any additional information or questions, please contact MP Team.